Hey, what's up guys? My name's the number one pred, and today what I'm bringing you guys is a hipfire only Moab Moab? <laughs> hipfire, no, hipfire only chem strike on the map tremor as that guy just a few seconds ago got completely corrended. He did not even land a bullet on me. This just explains how poor this lobby was. In a sense good because obviously you want to pub stomp noobs. But it was a really, really good lobby, but full of poor skill, poorly skilled players is what I'm trying to say and the reason why I'm not loading this is it isn't exactly the fastest hit fire any chem strike it isn't exactly great it doesn't stand out to anything else I'm not claiming to be anything brilliant but it's just something that I can put in the background that is actually not the easiest thing to get I actually got this first game a try and not to brag or anything because it isn't the hardest I mean I'm used to going for harder challenges than this um, but the, another reason why I'm not loading it is because it's a sort of foreshadowment of an even better gameplay that will be coming out sometime in the near future. It is epic and it's definitely one of my best gameplays out there. It's completely solo, it's on FFA, it was in exactly the same lobby, it was a back to back game and um, back to back games in straight after this one and I dropped I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna tell you. I can surprise you guys because I'm sure you guys will enjoy this gameplay. <sighs> I don't want to. I want to tell you, but I don't because I, wanna, I don't. I want to excite you, but I, I kind of want to tell you. I'm not gonna tell you. There's a few people who of my friends who actually do know. Two of them in the party were Josh and um, Leon, uh, True Fine Calamities. They were both in my party, uh, listening to me. You know, talk to myself. Um, hesitantly in a private party chat um, because I had them like on mute, not mute, not them muted, but um, my chat on mute. So um, I was going for the gameplay. I was talking to myself, trying to think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, you know, you talk to yourself sometimes. I'm called, don't even deny it. And um, they were listening to me, and they were kind of probably laughing to themselves. And I got dropped at the gameplay, and they were like, "What?" <laughs> so. Um, that was kind of cool, them two you guys know, but hopefully those two can keep the secret for me, as well as the, the few other people who I told. So don't tell anyone please lads, um, that'd be appreciated. And uh, yeah, that's basically it for the uh, gameplay and, you know, the little foreshadowment it, it holds, I guess. But for today's commentary topic, what I want to talk to you guys about today is how and why I started YouTube. And this is a kind of interesting topic that loads of other YouTubers actually talk about. But I thought, why not? It's my turn, so let's go for it. So I'm going to start from the very, very start of me actually starting to record. So basically back in Black Ops 1, which was when theater mode was introduced, I used to go on... Actually, no, I used to watch YouTube videos, and the main person who used to watch every single day was X Jaws. And he's not exactly the most liked person now in the community, but I actually loved his videos back in the day. He used to go like 21 and 6 and stuff, not no, no like 26 and 1 should I say. And I used to think that was an amazing gameplay. Everyone used to think it was a brilliant gameplay. I mean, comparing it to now, it's pretty much nothing, but back in the day it was amazing. He used to also give tips out to people that I actually really benefited off. Um, they were actually a good starting point for me to get better. So um, that's when I started getting like attack dogs and chopper gunners in Black Ops 1 more consistently. And that's when I started to uh, record and stick it in theater mode. I used to record with my phone. Um, I used to stick it on the table and like, balance it out so it was able to record the TV screen. Really, really bad quality, but it was a start. <laughs> so um, I started doing that. And um, it started to progress. I mean, it got better over the days. I started watching people like Insomulus. Theocrats and Michael J who were starting to drop Moabs and I started like, adapting their playstyle and dropping Moabs myself. I got Blackberry and started recording with that which was then I was able to upload to YouTube in the most horrible quality like with black bars down the side you know what I mean. And um, so I had to deal with that but um, I ended up getting a Roxio capture. It wasn't HD, it was like 360, 480p, I think it was 360 but it wasn't great quality. And that's when I started dropping nuclears and stuff like that. And then I started getting serious when I started dropping doubles. And I finally dropped a triple nuclear. As well as a triple mob. And uh, that's where I'm starting now. Roxio HD Pro. 
and um, I've slightly gained subs, gained insane gameplays now, so I've definitely improved over the years, and those are the pretty much the main reasons why I started YouTube. Hopefully you enjoyed today's commentary topic and or gameplay, please drop a like rating if you did, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.